This is an example using the disjunctive syllogism rule. We call it, Who Drives Me? The story is this. John or Mary must drive me to the store. If John drives me to the store, he will be late for work. John cannot be late for work. If Mary must drive me to the store, she must buy gas. If Mary must buy gas, she must have money. If Mary must have money, then she must work at a paying job. We'd like to prove that Mary must work at a paying job. We begin by assigning names to some basic statements. J represents John must drive me to the store. M represents Mary must drive me to the store. L represents John will be late for work. G represents Mary must buy gas. Y represents Mary must have money. And W represents Mary must work at a paying job. From the story, we extract these premises. J or M, which is John or Mary must drive me to the store. J implies L, which is, if John drives me to the store, he will be late for work. Not L, which is, John cannot be late for work. M implies G, which is, if Mary must drive me to the store, she must buy gas. G implies Y, if Mary must buy gas, she must have money. And finally, Y implies W, which is, if Mary must have money, then she must work at a paying job. The conclusion to be drawn is W, which is, Mary must work at a paying job. The premises of this problem are J or M, J implies L, not L, M implies G, G implies Y, and Y implies W. The conclusion we seek is W. How could we conclude W from these premises? Looking backwards through the premises, we see that we could get W if we knew Y. And if we knew G, we could get Y. And if we knew M, we could get G. It seems that getting M is a good intermediate goal for us. The first premise tells us that either J or M is true. We would then have M through the disjunctive syllogism rule if J were shown to be false. Can we show that J is false? Well, from the second premise, we know that J implies L, but from the third premise, we know that L is false. So that means that J is false. As we said, that will give us the intermediate goal of M. If you would like to produce the proof on your own, you should pause this video now. We begin by listing all of our six premises. So we have line 1, J or M, line 2, J implies L, line 3, not L, line 4, M implies G, line 5, G implies Y, and line 6, Y implies W. Now, on line 7, we use modus tollens from lines 2 and 3 to conclude that J must be false. Using disjunctive syllogism from lines 1 and 7, we get that M is true. Once we have M, it is a matter of a sequence of three uses of modus ponens to get from M to G using lines 4 and 8, from G to Y, using lines 5 and 9, and from Y to W, using lines 6 and 10. W was our conclusion.